Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. First, there was Divergent. Then came the sequel, Insurgent. And now, at last, we have the final installment, based on the third and final book in this awful and poorly thought out dystopian young adult book series. This one is called Allegiant. Now, let's just get through this and thank the ever-loving Lord that we're done and can put this whole thing behind us for good, once and for... What? What's that you say? They pulled a Twilight? A, a Harry Potter? A, a Hunger Games? They split the last book into two movies to make twice as much money? Uh, wait a minute. Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant. Just what the heck are they going to call this next one? Dear viewers, I'm just mad. Now I'm upset. You know what, Lionsgate? I've got a thesaurus too, and I'm gonna toss down all the pretense I can in this review because there's enough pretentiousness on the screen to go around in this series that rips off the Hunger Games, Harry Potter, The Matrix, The Maze Runner, and countless others. This whole series makes me angry now. No, not angry, I'm sorry. Indignant. Lionsgate has officially gotten overly indulgent and an effort to extract an amount of money from its audience that is exorbitant. That's all you get for a capsule review. Let's get as in-depth as we can with this sucker. For those of you who were, like me, ignorant of the Divergent series of books by Veronica Roth, prepare yourself, because this is gonna get unpleasant. In a dystopian version of Chicago, which is walled off from the rest of the world, humanity has been divided into five factions all of which are built around one personality trait and defined by a different 50 cent SAT vocabulary word like erudite, who are all the smart people, and dauntless, who are all brave, etc. When you're a kid in this universe, you're given drugs and hooked up to a computer in a sort of test to be told what faction you belong to based on who you are. This determines what kind of job you will have in life. Dauntless are cops and soldiers because they're fearless and stuff. Erudite, they do like really smart people jobs. And Abignation, they're all about selfishness and serving people. So I'm assuming that most of the population is Abignation because if humanity needs more of anything, it's people who serve other people. Here's where your baristas and ditch diggers and burger flippers and stuff would go. And they also run the government. Plus there's Candor who are always truthful I don't know what kind of jobs they have. They just sort of sit in an ivory tower all day and tell the truth. You know, this whole world doesn't make any sense. Anyway, if the test shows you that you have more than one personality traits, like a normal, well-rounded person, you're called a divergent, and they kill you. Yay! The whole plot of the series hinges on this faction concept with rules that are wildly inconsistent with each other and with human nature in general. One faction, erudite, the smart people, decides they want to murder an entire faction of people. The abignation. You know, the people who serve. All the janitors and plumbers and construction workers and... Oh man, sure, let's kill all the selfless servants. And it's the smart people who had this idea. The logic displayed here is awfully contradictory. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's incongruent. The rules of this world continue to get even more contradictory the more you examine them. First you get tested and told who you are, then you still get to choose your faction despite what the test says, then you train with that faction and you can actually fail the training and be kicked out even though the test told you that that was where you belonged. In and if you didn't start rejecting the series at that point, now it turns out that this whole faction thing, the whole walling off of Chicago, the factions, the sorting hat thing, the training, the borderline racism, the class wars, the suffering and genocide, everything. It was all some sort of experiment by some other people beyond the wall. How do they know who we are? Our surveillance technology is centuries ahead of anything you've known. They've grown up watching him. Nothing creepy about that. To, I don't know, teach humanity a lesson or test a theory. In 200 years, the greatest scientific minds have lived here to test a theory. So much death, 
so much suffering and torture, all for someone's uh, lab experiment? If we could rescue people from a toxic environment and put them in a safe place like Chicago, perhaps they would heal it. Until this one chick came along whose biggest qualification was that she was a, a well-rounded person. And I'm one of those people. You're the only one. Ah, are you kidding me? There is an explanation given in this new installment, but it is, suffice it to say, woefully deficient. The first two movies suffered from a lack of story. Seriously, once you explain the rules of this world, there's really not much going on in those first two, and the pacing gets rather stagnant. While a bunch of actors you loved in other things just stand around and look bored while they repeat the same redundant plot devices. Kidnaps, escapes, betrayals, and it's all perfunctory, going through the motions. The good news, uh, if you want to call it good news, is that Allegiant is the best of these films, if only for the fact that stuff actually happens in it. Seriously, stuff happens in every scene. Now that's actually a victory for this series, trust me. Also, remember those answers you were excited to get? Oh, you get them all right, from multiple contradictory sources and in huge, suffocating bursts. And once all is revealed, none of it really makes any sense. I'm a bit overwhelmed, I'm still processing it all. In fact, you could make a drinking game out of how many times a character in this movie says the line, uh, that doesn't make any sense. There are moments in this movie when I don't believe that any of the characters, especially the characters in Chicago, understand just what they're doing, why they want to do it, how to do it, or what the consequences of their actions are, but they just plow ahead anyway, propelling the plot towards a limp resolution that spins at the very last moment to reveal, hey, we're not done, suckers. We'll be back next year to take more of your money. Bye. You will see each turn of the plot coming if you've ever seen Harry Potter or Hunger Games or The Maze Runner especially, due to the fact that a major section of this film takes place in a place that's a dead ringer for the Scorch Trials. The best thing I can say about Allegiant is that it looks cool. There's some fun new sci-fi tech, nothing on the degree of the lightsaber or Harry Potter's pensive, but the film contains some visual delights. It's well designed, although puzzlingly not in 3D, when the last film was in 3D and it's clear that a lot of the effects shots were designed here with 3D in mind. But being well shot and nice to look at can't make a movie this unoriginal or illogical worth seeing, even as a guilty pleasure or empty spectacle. The entire enterprise seems like it was made by the lazy and the greedy, and it tries so hard to seem intelligent with its SAT vocab words and its pseudo-intellectual psychology as a substitute for relatable character traits. Hey, you want intelligent? All right, you know what? I'll put down my thesaurus for a second and sum it all up with some Shakespeare because it does not get any more erudite than that. The Divergent series is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. There, empty bag of popcorn for Divergent series Allegiant. I classify this film and this entire franchise as abhorrent. That does it for Movies That Pop. Don't forget, you can follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. Also, take just a moment to click the icon right down there to visit our channel. You'll find us easier next time. You'll stay updated on the release of upcoming videos, and it helps us out. So please, subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and this movie is repugnant.